Good morning, guys. Today is our first adventure day here in Koh Tao. We are off to the famous Nang Yuan Islands, just off the northwest of Koh Tao. But first, we need to get some snacks to fuel ourselves on this adventure. That is the snacks in the bag. Okay guys, so we have just got to Mayhead Pier, which is where you get the boat from to go to Nang Yuan. And we did read online that you should be paying about um, 250 baht per person. Like that is the kind of standard price to get the boat there and back. However, we did just arrive and the first person we spoke to was charging 400 baht. So we've just left that side where that man was. And we're just gonna go over here. I don't know, we'll see if we can get something cheaper. It's worth a try because that seems a bit too much. <laughs> right, so we've managed to get the price down to 250 baht per person for there and back. He's gonna be waiting there for two hours. So we'll get two hours to go and explore the beautiful island of Nang Yuan. Right guys, we are getting on our long tail boat. Here she is. I think that is the most sweat I've ever gotten on a long tail boat since that time on PP when we were basically going through a storm. Yeah. And only on one side. Look at that clear water. Wow. That was a very, very wavy boat ride, but we've made it safely onto this beautiful pier. Look at this, guys. This sand. Ooh. Look at that sand. Oh boy. Have you ever seen anything oh like boy. it? PP Islands eat your heart out. <laughs> I knew this place was beautiful by looking at the photos, but this place in real life is even better. Look at the size of these rocks. Thank you. So we've just arrived at the entrance checkpoint and it looks like the price to get in is 250 baht per person. So let's do it. They can charge that much because everyone comes here, so they can get away with that. <laughs> Thank you. I totally understand these places about standing natural beauty, making you pay to get in, but 250 baht is a little, a little much. It's a bit spenny, but then once you pay and you're here, you forget about that anyway. Guys, I think I just found my first ever sea cucumber. Look at it, it's so weird. What is that? It's loads around. Loads. Honestly, what is this water though? Clear as day. Anyway, now we're going to begin our trek up to the top there for the viewpoint. We came just at the right time. We arrived at 10 o'clock and now there's boatloads of people arriving. I thought it was going to be this quiet. I was wrong. Crap, I didn't put any bug spray on. Oh no! That was your first mistake? It went from bright open daylight, beach, blue water, to dark and jungly very quick. That started off with a really steep incline, a bunch of steps, and now it's just kind of like a slope. And who knows what's waiting for us around this corner. Look at that. So so worth it. Instagram versus reality. When we first got on the island, we felt like we were the only ones there. And 10 minutes later, these three big boats turned up with like tons of people. And now it's getting a little crowded. And I've got a nice juicy mosquito bite right on the corner of my head. Nice. There is now a straight up queue to get to the top. Shimmy down. Yeah. 
you know what guys i completely retract my previous statement about the admission fee it was totally worth every penny just for that view but do yourself a favor come before opening because that went from zero to 100 quick that would have been a totally different experience if we arrived 10 minutes later in all fairness though you can tell that they're trying to make a big effort to keep the area around the beach and the islands clean there's no plastic bottles allowed you're not allowed to collect any shells and there's no litter anywhere although i can't find anywhere to put my banana hi you're so random super cute <laughs> all right good talk so I can see dear Yasmin in the distance over there. We're going to see if we can try and get to her without stepping on a sea urchin. I think this has got to be some of the nicest sea water we've swam in in Thailand. You can't see anything apart from sand. It's so clear. So, so clear. And no sea urchins from what I can tell. No sea urchins. There's nothing on the floor. The funny thing is, I feel like this is the coldest water we've been in. It's nowhere near it's cold. It's not so. cold, but it's the coldest water we've been in. It's so refreshing. And now once I've been in it for a few minutes, it's like warm already. Bye. Bye. We're also the only people here without snorkels because we're stupid. <laughs> it's the man, the myth, the legend, Irfan from Field of Visions. Just carried a baby up a mountain, but no biggies in the water swimming yeah, now. Yeah, fine, it's cooling down now, bro. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> Our boat driver has been waiting patiently for us over there for the last two hours so we're going to wait for everyone else to come down and then make our way back to the mainland. Somehow that was one of the choppiest boat rides ever, but little Zachy loved he made it. it. Didn't we? Not even phased. In fact, if anything, I think he's even happier than before. <laughs> he loved that rocky boat ride. And we're back just in time before that storm cloud oh, ruins us. <laughs> the wind has just picked up big time, which is a sure sign that it's going to absolutely fuck it down. I need my flip flops. Adam got stuck in the rain when he went back for his flip flops. <laughs> Oh. Hashtag island life! <laughs> I cannot even imagine being on the boat with this. Unbelievable that timing, we literally docked about three minutes ago. 